When my family first moved to North Carolina, we lived in a rented house three blocks from the school where I would begin the third grade. My mother made friends with one of the neighbors, but one seemed enough for her. Within a year, we would move again, and as she explained, there wasn't much point in getting too close to people we would have to say goodbye to. Our next house was less than a mile away, and the short journey would hardly merit tears or even goodbyes, for that matter. It was more of a see-you-later situation, but still I adopted my mother's attitude, as it allowed me to pretend that not making friends was a conscious choice. I could if I wanted to. It just wasn't the right time. Back in New York State, we had lived in the country with no sidewalks or street lights. You could leave the house and still be alone. But here, when you looked out the window, you saw their houses, and people inside those houses. I hope that in walking around after dark, I might witness a murder, but for the most part, our neighbors just sat in their living rooms watching TV. The only place that seemed truly different was owned by a man named Mr. Tomkey, who did not believe in television.